Yo. Yo. I'm outside. Oh, oh shit, what's going on? Where are we going? No, I'm not going over. Let's come check you quickly. Alright, one second, one second. Right. <laughs> when you was at Yale Malls? That was my first car, dude. Yeah, so when you asked me, I was like, yeah, it was the red cars at. You have a red car? But bad, I've been shopping all day, innit? So, yeah. nah, just, I was out all day, innit? Filming and that, like, shopping. So when, when I sent you the message, I went under the train, innit? Went, on, went under the train, went on the train. The message me just now. Nah. Yeah, what go on? Is there nothing? Yeah, come outside quick. I said, that. Right. He's got a new car. This one's a quattro, man, look. This ain't even sports mode yet. This I ain't even said it. Bro, G, <laughs> when do you get this today? Brown house is on Sunday. I'm still getting messages um, from people. Obviously, they're mixed messages. Um, I understand that some people didn't really have the greatest time because of some logistic issues that happen with the venue and stuff. But um, all I can really say is that those that know, know. Like me, Chucky, the team, we're very big on delivering a solid experience. And um, I do understand that some of the people that came on Sunday, the experience might have been dampened with some of the issues that presented itself, which is, again, out of our control. Um, those that know, know, and I just appreciate everyone's understanding. Like, um, there's been a few um, people talking on Twitter and other means of social media, but I see people in the comments defending us because they kind of understand. They're giving, they're basically, they're giving us grace, and I appreciate for doing that. Um, you don't know that if we could, we would. So, when, when there's mishaps like that, it's not our fault. So, thank you for that. Thank you. And hopefully we can iron out the teething problems that we faced and just work on delivering a much better experience for the future events. So love for that man, love for that. Thanks for having patience with us. We've done however many events, even outside of R&B and Slow Jams. How many events has Chucky put on as on a personal thing with me? How many events have me and my business partner Matthew put on in regards to Faded? Like these are things that we try to minimize that that's basically what an event is you know you have a plan you have an idea you execute it and whilst executing it you put things in place to limit all of the problems that could occur because dealing with people especially in those kind of numbers it's not easy three thousand people it's not easy do you know what i mean but like i said <clears throat> like i said uh thank you lot for um, being patient and I'm talking to the community that support us. Uh, this isn't for everyone, because at, at the end of the day, it's not everyone that was attending. It's the, it's the people that care about what R&B represents, what r and for, and what it does for them inside. You know what I mean? For some people, it's like it's like a therapy session. For some people, it's like an outlet to come and just a form of escapism. Do you know what I mean? Shout out, Ray. Escapism, big tune. Go check that out if you haven't already. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. I'm rambling on, man. I just wanted to quickly say this before I go to the gym today. Obviously, um, I'm grateful, man. Like we've, we've ended the year strong and we've got Birmingham this weekend. We've got Manny the weekend after. Then we're back in London for a few more dates. And I yeah, just want to keep the, ball, keep the ball turning, man. And then in 2024, hopefully see you lot then. Bigger, better and more vibes, man. Love. Jay's up. What you say, Raji? We you me, Bob? You say you, you don't have a good time? Yeah, man, she loved it, bro, man. <laughs> she loved it, cuz, man. You know, you know, you know what's sick, though? You know what's sick, here? Yeah? Obviously, we were in VIP and she would go downstairs. So we, we, we went downstairs, we were in the middle. And it's like, for me, because obviously, because of like, the status, it's hard to kind of like get in a vibe in it, because everyone keeps stopping, you know that. But, fam, everyone saw my daughter, no one even come over to man, and man had, oh, had fun. I got to the studio and. I'm usually the first one here. Sometimes Keith, I'm not gonna lie. But, okay, there we go. Keith just walked in. It's the front. Mm -hmm. Start with you, man. Hello, mate. <laughs> when you tell people random numbers, because it sounds legit. Legit what? Because you said eight minutes. But if you'd said 10, it would have sounded No, no, because of where I was. Was, um, was it I eight was minutes? Was it eight minutes? Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I was on the central line. I was in just before <laughs> and tore at his stove because he thought there was an oxy floor underneath the stove. Raw, and so obviously he's walking up the whole yard. The wife's come out, his son's come out. Like, what are you doing? Because I know there's a pill underneath there. Like, oh, you about to tear out the stove? Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. I need, I, I need to see if it's there, and it was there. It was obviously on the other side of the room. <laughs> That's what I need to see. <laughs> Brand, he, 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 he needed it. Sure. Man said, I need the pill. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, people? Just thought I'd give you an update of what I'm getting up to today. So, we are myself and Chucky, the R&B and Slow Jams team. We are trying to be creative. 
and we're gonna try and film an ad today that involves me and Chucky rushing to get to the airport, missing our flight to the destination that we are basically going to early next year. So this is just the behind the scenes footage of that. So I'm going to base, let me give you a rundown as to what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave my yard, basically film me leaving my yard. I'm currently watching the Liverpool game, Liverpool Crystal Palace. But yeah, I'm going to leave my yard, make my way to go pick up Chucky, head to the airport and then just film the journey. You know, we'll see it in the final shot. And then we're going to miss our flight. So our flight is to Ireland. We're going to miss it. And that's going to be the ad. The ad is essentially us missing our flight to Ireland. And basically saying, oh, we've got to rebook. So we're going to come another time. And that is going to be the date that we announce, which will be the 4th of February, 2024. That'll be our first date in Ireland. And hopefully not the last. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And then after that, We've got um, a booking at Box Park Wembley. They're doing their Christmas dinner tonight. So they've booked us. They've booked Sinead Harnett. They've got Specs Gonzalez and a few other special guests. So all the people that are coming down tonight, looking forward to seeing you guys as well. There's apparently a forfeit. So one of us, me or Chucky, might have to perform our favourite karaoke song. But you know me. I stay ready for the mic. Pause. You know what I mean. But anyway, I'm going to keep you posted throughout the day. Got my cam both my cameras with me, so I'm gonna get a few test shots in there, take some nice pictures, get some nice footage, and yeah, just keep you lot updated with everything. Today's date is the 9th of December. So we're slowly coming to the end of the year, man. Scary man. A lot of things have happened this year. I'm definitely gonna shoot a video um recapping everything that's happened this year. Also, I'm gonna do a QA and I'm gonna finally release my skincare routine. Might as well. I might as well. Just give it out there. Sharing his knowledge. Sharing the knowledge, sorry, that I've gathered over the years, which has made my skin look how it's looking right now. And don't forget, 40s hoodies are now available. Face tracking on, so you can't even get the shot in there. It's difficult, man. Anyway, your 40s hoodies, they're available. Just hit me up on the Insta, Taser Black, 40s London, DM, have a conversation. Let's get it popping, man. Come on. Done now. All right. So I'm in the whip now. Some things out of my control. On my way to get Chucky. Stay in my zone. And then we're gonna head to the I'm airport. Yeah. Hopefully we make this flight. Cause I can't lie, I'm looking at the time. Look at peak still. So what are you saying? Wait, shit, it's on me. I'm actually um, excited about getting this flight and actually taking our Ruby overseas. Yeah. As well, this year, or should I say 2024? 2024 has got to be the year now where we start catching some flights and doing this in different places around Europe. We have to do that. Now that we're actually on the way to the airport, uh, like I'm in, I've got that, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I've got that vibe now. I just want to do it more. We keep seeing so much people in different places saying, come here, come there, come here, come there. Like, you know, we, we spent two, uh, 2023 building. Um, UK now, we'll take it out yeah, <laughs> take it out there, man. Do you reckon they're ready though? Like, do you reckon they like, do you reckon some of these places really know? Do you know what? They, I, I, I don't know, I don't know because again, we've had this discussion before. A lot of it is, yeah, on the surface, it's just what's the what, what is it? They're just playing RB, okay. But when you're there, you've seen the videos, different, like. It's, it's different, man. They gotta experience it. I can't tell you what to uh, film. When, once you're there and you feel it, you can let me know whether it's something that was needed or was necessary. I think it's important for them to know, yeah, that there's not a compromise. Like we're not going to these different places and giving them a different experience. You see, the way that we do it in London is the way we're doing it everywhere else. You're holding. I think you're covering the mic. Just oh, to be shit. careful. Yeah, there's a mic mic right there. So you have to hold it down here. Oh man. Yeah. Like cover it all off? I don't know, I have to listen back to you, but I just saw your finger for mm. oh, okay. I wasn't holding it tight anyway, so that's really yeah. cool. Um but yeah, what I was gonna say, uh, it's important for them to know yeah, that like there's no compromise though. Like we're not going to different places and and giving them like a diluted experience. You see the same way that we play in London? We're playing there. Can you add context to that, please, as well? Because I think some people don't... Like, some people won't know why you're saying that. And 
think the context needs to be explained as if like there's to certain DJs that obviously they do what they do in London but then when they get a booking outside of London they don't really give it the same amount of effort that they would as if it was a London booking yeah That's because what. people will just naturally assume that like outside of certain places let's just say like London or New York or like maybe even Atlanta or certain places like that yeah where it's like I don't know where people just assume that okay people know like they know they know the music like they know it in a in a um, beneath the surface way they just assume that everywhere else doesn't see it the same and that's not the truth that's not the truth like there are so much people that love genres of music not just R&B but just it could be hip hop yeah. like, that love it deeply so we shouldn't give it to them in any other way like we should stay integral to the the the, um, the genre and give them the experience that we would give in London or if we was ever in New York or whatever. No, you know I, what agree. I'm I agree. So if the, say if this is not your thing, then you might struggle. But if it is your thing, you're gonna love it. Just a quick bit of tea, yeah. Because only because I saw the billboards just just drop past the billboards. You know, um, Ian from Little Mix has requested to attend one of our future dates. Yeah, I know. Cold. Yeah, I know, I know. I saw that. I love that. Getting out there, yeah. Slowly, but because I had a video that um, I don't know if I could say it went viral, but basically a video of me are dancing to Little Mix. Oh, is um, it? Yeah, one of the song that was very like it wasn't very pop, but it had hip hop elements. So I, yeah. I, I liked it. So when I'm playing it in the car, I kind of got a little a vibe to it. So one day we filmed the video, and then they saw it. Oh, sick! Yeah, they saw it and they commented. So obviously, Mia's mum saw it and was like, "Oh my god." Do you reckon me I can get tickets to Little Mix? <laughs> <laughs> the girl group thing, they really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not even together like that. Yeah, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Leanne's definitely going to be um, at one of the future ones, 100%. She's local, man. She'll, she'll definitely pull up. Yeah. And I know she'll have a good time. It's always Soon. good when you see people like that that want to come out and just experience it still. Is there one person that comes to mind, yeah, that you would enjoy the event that you can't wait for them to attend? Obviously not one of your brethren that's or anything, a good like question. a celeb, that's a... or just someone that you rate and you look up to, or just... I mean, someone that you gravitate towards, you like, I'd love for you to come to one of my dances and just enjoy it. Drake. I think Drake would love it, bro. You know that? No, 100%, but I just don't know how Drake would... Is Drake someone that will just come and enjoy? Yes. And then just, no, take it for what it is? Yeah. Not try and remix it, or... Nah. Just he'll come, come and, and just... Yeah, he'll come and enjoy it. Come with Chubbs in it, man. Then. <laughs> I think that is not even like beyond the realms of possibility. I think that he would come and really enjoy the way that we provide slow jams and that. And I know he's a slow jam, especially when it comes to playing Aaliyah stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? When it comes to the Aaliyah stuff, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like him, he's definitely some, um, someone you. What about you? That's what I was thinking. It's a, it's a hard one, man. Because for me, it's more to do with like, but it's not about them enjoying R and B. It's more just them coming and enjoying the space. So obviously, it's, it happened for me with Halloween when um, I saw Chief and Booster. Yeah. Like for me, that was a moment. That video is, is on my phone. I'm saving it. I'm gonna post it. Tiny Boost in the house. Tiny hey! What's happening? What's happening? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I don't know. I'm, 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 on a, I'm a corner boy, adult boy from O2. Yeah. I like me if you need it. Yeah. He caught the hat. He caught the hat. Give me one word for this event for Taser and Chucky. Now. Listen, Taser and Chucky, I'm so proud of you. And what I want to see from you guys next is a festival with all the actual R&B artists performing. Boom. I dropped a bomb. That's it, right? That's the one. Having someone like Chiefer and having someone like Boost being in one place is an achievement in itself. And then on top of that, got them to do fancy dress. Do you know what? For anyone who might not know Chiefer, let them know because some people will know Boost. Well, some people will know Boost, but like Chiefer, some people may not know Chiefer. Chiefer is he's probably one of the biggest jewelers to come out of the UK right now. He's a Ghanaian boy, strong, strong black man. You know, what I man. That's, yeah. He believes in like the culture and the essence of being black here, and he's done his thing. He's uh, started off. I can't even remember where he started initially, but he's had his shop in Hatton, and now he's a jeweler in Mayfair, chief for jewelry. Um, and he's just a man that's respected in the scene, man. By all anyone that you think is important knows who he is. Yeah. And 
I have the pleasure of calling him my big bro. So yeah. when I called him and said, yo, obviously he's, he loves r and I remember when, um, oh, was it H? Was it H that brought over um, Eric Bellinger? Was H in it, in Jazz Cafe? I can't remember. I think it was H, I think it was H. I think it was H, I think it was H. So I phoned Chief, I'm like, yo, because that's one of his favorite artists. Did you go? Yeah, I took Chief oh, off. He had a great time. Eric Bellinger's cold. So he told me, he said, Taser, Eric's in town, and I'm not going. I said, no, well, I saw that for you. So we went, we had a great time. So ever since then, I've known, as much as he has this hard exterior, this is a man that loves hip hop and yeah. loves R&B. So he's seen my hip hop, um, sorry, my R&B events growing, growing, growing. And he's always said that, bro, if you need anything, I'm here. I really want to attend. And I was like, you know what? I'll be honest with you. When you're ready, let me know. And obviously time had gone by. They've seen videos. And after Coco, he was like, I have to come to the next one. Right, right, right. So that's why he came Halloween. Because he came with, the, with his missus. My other boys came with their missus. Just gave them a little yeah, that's And they had a great time. Yeah, that's so, so that for me, moments like that, very yeah, special. I hear that still. Julie Adenuga. I think she's pending anyway. Yeah. yeah. I had her on the pod me. yesterday. Oh, is it? Yeah, I had her on the pod oh, yesterday. I see. So Tolly's messaged me saying, I need to come to one. So I know the dots are connecting. At yeah, some point, yeah. you're going to hear Tolly, yeah. Julie, Melissa's wardrobe. They're all going to come and they're going to enjoy. So yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's definitely pending. Julie will definitely, I, I believe, uh, have a good time there. Yeah, uh, but it's continued building, isn't it? Even See, thing, I'm not even going to say it. I throw, I throw my name in the hat, man. Sinead Harnett. Oh, yeah, Sinead Harnett will love it. Yeah, Sinead Harnett, Cleo Soul. Yeah, Cleo would love yeah, it. Yeah, man. Like, I think it's going to get to a point where, like, even the even the one we're doing in Manny, yeah, I don't think men seem to understand how sick that was. That Remember the, um, I can't remember which football team, but the women's football team. Oh, yeah, the Manchester. The whole team. Yeah, 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 Manchester, Manchester United. They're all coming. Bro, the feedback off the back of them in Drain is going to be magic. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 the whole and I, I love that as well, man. I, yeah, love, man. I love the fact that like they're all coming, that whole team's coming. I think some of their staff is coming, um, and they, they will enjoy it, man. I think they will enjoy. it. I don't know if they're all R and B heads like that, but I think that they will still they will have a really good time in and amongst the ones that are. We need to do. We need to be part of a documentary as well. You know, I think we need to be the faces of it. We need to figure out where the people who are eighteen and younger where their relationship I want to know how they got introduced to R&B some of them are being introduced by Keisha Cole you keep saying Love. that yeah but it's crazy yeah, but where like how are they do you know what my bread junior literally today I'm going to show it to you I can't pull it on here though because he might not want me to put his son on it no that's cool but um he's so, like he's gone in his son's room he snuck into his like, son's room his son singing um Love by Keisha Cole yeah and he's like got his phone out his son doesn't know that he's filming Bro, this youth is in there singing this <laughs> tune out hard to the mirror. You know? He's in the mirror, not realizing his dad's filming him. <laughs> Try to find parking! Yeah. Try to find parking. <laughs> Taze, you check the ticket? Let me check it when we get inside, bro. It must be Terminal 2. I know it's Terminal 2. Google I didn't even check that. Like but a man didn't check the thing. I just know that one, I'm sure one time I caught a flight from Terminal 2 still. But, what, is that how you're going, man? Huh? Is that how you're going, man? The fact you caught a flight before at Terminal 2? Yeah, bro, you could, bro, from here to where we're going is Terminal 2 all the time, bro. 100%. So basically, like, I think you're around. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I think that's as better. long as you just let us know the main one is, like, the whole thing, like, the audience, basically. Um, so basically, that intro will come on, and then we're going to go into the 8 days of Christmas, and then the four dark, we've got four darks here. And they're gonna basically dance, and you guys are gonna look on the stage as well. But they know that you're on the stage with them, and they'll probably play that, play like half of that song, or as much of that song. Well, yeah. Until yeah. They become clear. Yeah. And then we start talking. Yeah. Like, yo, welcome. Maybe we'll like, I'll, I'll, and then we go into talk about the man a little bit. I think and then we introduce some specs and the big drum. Um, I think specs are gonna walk into. I don't know what song he's doing. Then I'm, as far as I've been reading, they are dressed up, but that that man that's in place, um, I haven't got confirmation. And then... So basically, when we go home, we just buy to go to Okay, names are on the top of the name, you lot got the dessert that they're going to start serving. So I think that the aim, the aim is basically, and then we come back on the stage, and then introduce the dessert station and they open. So what do we do in between? So after the dinner, and then I mean, we play the games? Yeah, but straight after. Um, I would just say that at each point, it's, it's the bar. It's better than that. Yeah, but it's not. It's not word for word. No, no, no. 
Guys, we just so this is this is pretty straightforward. The games ones. I'm gonna get another set. Um, it's raining, I've got to meet the lads and head to Brum. <laughs>